Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you three skills that I've used the most in last five and a half years of my corporate career. And before that, I would like to tell you that 80% of my time I spend with these tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, which are MS Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. In MS Excel, the features that I end up using the most is Pivot, charts, diagrams formatting and excel shortcuts like these are the most most important tool that you should know if you are targeting a job in finance and not just finance even consulting also sometimes you have to make business models for the client and you end up using a lot of excel and in general in any of the finance job consulting job it is a basic expectation that you will know excel and pivot it's something which really like if you know all of the smart tools in excel it really saves your time it makes your analysis so easier so like so efficient then let's say aapke paas bahut bada data and you know how to handle data in excel to aap wo data se ek din mein insights nikal sakte ho was it someone cleaning your data for like 2 3 days and then finally analyzing it then powerpoint powerpoint i got to learn or i would say i learned the importance of slides presentation when i joined bcg i learned that if your slide looks good beautiful clean then it saves you half of your time because audience is so much convinced okay everything is clear on slide i can understand what the speaker is trying to say so when speaker is saying it depends on the audience as well but most of the time people are looking at the slide what is written on the slide and then they are trying to complement it what the speaker is saying So I have heard people saying that if a slide looks good, beautiful, then half of the work is done, and sometimes seventy percent of your work, because it makes other person feel that you have put in good effort, good work, and you know things. Versus, if your slide is not good, it just irritates audience. Like people have to spend like five ten minutes on one slide to understand what the speaker is trying to say. So that's the difference, or I would say that's the. a benefit of making good beautiful slides and the most useful features of powerpoint that i have used is efficient elements which is which is more like an extension this is not something which is inbuilt in powerpoint but you can get this extension second is thinkcell so thinkcell kya kaam aata hai usse aap bahut dynamic charts bana sakte ho and they look good and also visually uh, it is easy to understand thinkcell is all about the charts like meko chart bar chart line chart waterfall chart and uh, then in ppt shortcuts are also important at the same time when i started using ppt i never focused on shortcuts and now when i have learned shortcuts i really feel like had i known these shortcuts before i would have saved a lot of my time so shortcuts are important throughout all the all the applications that you use third is one note again uh, i learned the importance of one note when i joined bcg So you know, many times you are on a call, and you are just taking notes in your diary. And after one month, you don't know where the diary is, right? And let's say you are take, taking notes in Microsoft Word. So then you save the file, and that file is saved somewhere. So you need to open the folder. You need to locate that Excel file, sorry, Word file, and then you read the notes. But in Microsoft One Note, if you just open it, you can create a folder. Let's say Project A. and under project a you can create a lot of sub folders you can just put date so the naming convention that i follow is date uh, and in the date is year month and the day like the date and then the topic so for example today i i might use 2024 0803 which means 2024 august and then 3rd of august and then the name of the topic which is like let's say introduction and all the related sub notes are saved there so one, so the steps are very much reduced you just open your microsoft one note choose the right project name and just you can see all the notes in one without opening multiple word files so i find it like really good and it has helped me a lot and in this microsoft one note also there are shortcuts which you can use for making bullets sub bullets then highlighting green red yellow etc because let's say after the meeting is over there are some action points or you don't understand a few things 
then you can just do yellow highlight green highlight and you can discuss it with your team okay these are the things i don't understand or these are the things we need to do now so yeah these are the three tools which i have used the most and i use them the most even now as well and it, these like uh, they make up 80% of my time and for whatever i do it's one of the three tools and of course there is the search work as well but eventually output is created in the form of these applications So, if you are someone who is targeting a career in finance, consulting, or any of the related jobs, spend your time in building these skills, and it can really take you ahead. So, that's all for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.